Okay, good night, everyone. Good night, everyone who are followers of this channel. And good night, everyone on Facebook to whom this video will be shared. Now, this is a continuation of the catechism of my daughter, encouraging those of you who want to catechize your children to catechize them because, as I said before, there are five, hold it up, five questions that our kids will figure out on their own if you don't tell them what they are. Question one, origin. Where did we come from? Question two, identity. Who are we? Question three, ethics. How should we live while we're here? Question four. Wait a minute, I'm forgetting all the questions, Julie. You remember that? Oh, meaning, meaning. And the last question is, what again? Um, why did God create us? Nah, that's, that's meaning, that's purpose. Okay, the last one is destiny. Where do you go when you die? What happens after you die? So just to go over them, there's origin, identity, meaning, ethics, and destiny. Kids will find out the answers to these questions on their own unless you open the Bible and you tell them. And the best way for them to know the gospel, know the word of God, is through memorization of God's word and through reading his word. Okay, now my daughter memorized the first question of the shorter catechism, which is, what is the chief end of man? She's going to answer that question, and she's going to tell you, what, five verses, six verses? Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, Julie, what is the chief end of man? The chief end of man is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. High five, kid. Mm, I'm proud of you. All right, there are some verses that are in the Shorter Catechism in each of the questions that are asked. And Juliana is memorizing all of them, all 12 of them in the first question. Very smart kid. Now, question is already asked and she's already answered it. Now, for the first verse. She's going to memorize, well, she's going to be telling you uh, Psalm chapter 86 verse 9, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 21, Romans chapter 11, verse 36, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, and 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Five verses. Y'all think she can do it? I think she can do it. She's going to do it. All right, Juliana. I want you to tell me what is Psalm chapter 89, verse 6. Well, sorry. Psalm chapter 86, verse 9. Go. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and they shall worship before your name. I mean, your name. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You almost got it. You almost got it. You almost. Want to try it again? Mm, I want to do the next one. All right. Isaiah chapter 60. <laughs> Verse twenty-one. It's... Wait, mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the first words. Isaiah chapter sixty, verse twenty-one is. Then all your people will be righteous. Yes, high five. That's my girl. All right, next one. Romans chapter 11, verse 36.
1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. Juliana, last one. Last one, all right? You got this. You got this. All right, all right. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Go. Um, Weather. I'm proud of you, kid. I'm proud of you. Okay. So, it is important. Kids have sponge brains. Anything you tell them, anything you show them, if they if you if you if you instill it into them, they will remember. They'll remember. Do you have your child watching TV all day, playing on her tablet all day, playing with toys all day, and not reading her Bible because you have it on the shelf catching dust? What about he? He? Okay. He. Or he she. as well. He or she. He or she. Thanks for the correction, kid. Do you do you have that going on? Make sure you take time out of your day to spend time with your kid, memorizing the word of God, reading the word of God, and having family worship, especially for you fathers who call yourselves Christians. Make sure you're doing that because you will be held accountable before God on that day of judgment for your neg negligence and neglect of your duty to your child and to your wife. So take this video to be an encouragement for you to memorize God's word. God bless you. God bless you. Julie, say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.